Hi, I'm live. <laughs> I am so excited for this live today. Hopefully I'm not too loud. Um, I'm just super excited because this is all about my favorite subject to teach. And does anybody know what subject is my favorite to teach? <laughs> Science. So, hey, Rebecca, thanks for coming. And thank you, Kelly, so much for being here. So, okay, science. Let me tell you about the science that I had in my classroom. Like my cheeks hurt because I was like reminding myself of all the different things that we did. So I wrote down, I wrote down my notes about my classroom. I had a huge science center. I took a whole corner of my classroom and I had some shelves in there and I had some, my rock collection, which I was gonna get it down and show you and I forgot. I have my rock collection, it's still in my closet right here in the room with me. I know I told everybody I couldn't help it. Um, so my rock collection was in there. Tons of science books were in there. Magnets, magnifying, magnifying glasses. Um, I had guppies and goldfish. I was lucky that my school provided guppies and goldfish for like a science unit. They also provided red worms and earthworms. We had some roly polies. I had gotten stick bugs, my own stick bugs. Um, what was the other thing too? Frogs, guppies, stick bugs, worms, roly polies, spider plants. That was a lot of fun. So for like Mother's Day, we would cut off the baby spider plants and give them to Mother's Day. And some of the parents have told me that they still have those spider plants. So that's really cool. Um, outside my classroom, I had a large, huge garden and I bought a composter so the kids could learn about composting. We had, you know, in that garden, we had veggies, strawberries, tomatoes, strawberries, tomatoes, different plants, carrots, lots of things. So it was so much fun. I just, I loved, loved, loved my science center. Um, throughout the year, we did experiments like um, the lima beans where you put them in a baggie we made kind of like a little greenhouse with them and stuck them on the windows. Some would grow, some would grow, some would get moldy and some um, just kind of died. And so we had lots of discussions about what we could do different and um, how that happens, why it happens, things like that. We did um, a project called the Sunflower Project. Um, and the Sunflower Project is just basically what it says. They had teachers from around the world do the Sunflower Project, and we all had to have the exact same things so that we could see, you know, different soils in our area. But you had like a control and a not. It was just it was so much fun. So I can tell you more about it. I actually um, I think I was going to open it for you. Let's see. Sunflowers. But it was a project from a lot of teachers around the world that we um, all got together and did this. So basically, we had to plant the sunflower seeds on the same day. Everybody had to plant them on April 18th, at least one pot outside and one pot inside. So we had two pots, we had watering cups, we had potting soil with fertilizer, like everything had to be the same. So it was really, really neat. They sent us the seeds. Um, we had to take measurements. The kids had to measure and water and all things like that. So that was a lot of fun. Let's see, making sure I'm not missing you guys telling me anything. It was fun. I love science now, but was not able to do much with it in my B&M classroom. Oh, that's a bummer. They were very supportive of my craziness when I wanted to buy worms before worms were actually given to us. Um, they're like, okay, I'm like, I need it for my garden and to show the kids. And it was just so much fun. Um, we did a growing a garden. It was a kindergarten unit and, um, it was just so cute. I took, was it 10 days or two weeks? I guess that would be 10 days. So about 10 days for this one growing a garden unit. And basically they read the story like Peter Rabbit and then Mr. McGregor has a letter and they read the letter and then, you know, there's some brain pop. If you haven't used brain pop, it's so much fun in your classroom. There's a plant life cycle on there. 
I would show that um, right now I'm looking at my actual lesson plan um, inside a seed. So we would read the book, the tiny seed, and then the kids would learn about the parts of the seeds and uh, what do plants need? So the kids would learn all about what the plants need. And we would make a book all about what plants need and sunlight or water experiment. Um, you know, one you cover so they don't get sunlight and the other one you keep by this, you know, without a cover and which one does better or one with water, one without, et cetera. So those are fun experiments too. Tops and Bottoms was a book that I read to the classroom every year. And we had like a diagram and we had to mix and match and find all the pieces that went together, like a, like a puzzle and how a seed grows. Oh, I, I could just go on and on all about it. <laughs> so much fun. So I want to know what is one of your favorite things to teach? So whether it's a lesson or a whole unit. Um, I also took classes in college while teaching and one was planning for a greener classroom. So that's when we started working. Um, we had a garden. I bought some birdhouses and pretty wind chimes, um, a thermometer to hang outside so the kids could see it and tell me the temperature and we had all the bird feeders set up and the kids would take turns filling the food. I had to write up a whole lesson plan and then how things turned out and which centers, which standards it went with and which books I was going to read and <clears throat> made a word wall with all of the different words and so much fun. So if you need like, if you're teaching plants or things, let me know. I have a list of books you can read. So, oh, I need a cough now. <clears throat> I got too excited. I don't even have any water with me today, guys. Oh, well. All right. So plants, science, the dirtier, the better. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> okay, one more second. <clears throat> All right. The last thing I was going to tell you was um, we also... I was also in charge of STEM club, <clears throat> sorry, which was an after school club. And it was, you know, the science, technology, um, engineering and math, or you can add the arts for STEAM. And I loved it. I had this huge wall with all of our um, vocabulary words and the kids pictures doing all their experiments. We made like boats out of recycled materials and just science can be so much fun and you get the kids just really excited about it be hands-on with it that's my best advice hands-on let the kids touch and feel if they're kinesthetic um, you also want to have stories and things for the kids to hear or read in case you have auditory and visual learners so lots of pictures lots of touching lots of hearing and just have fun have so much fun teaching and let me know how things go what is your favorite subject to teach? Put it in the comment section below this video. I, I want to know. <laughs> I want to know. Um, I think I need to do another video, though, because as I was writing this all up, I just remembered another thing that I like to teach. Um, should I save it? I'll tell you guys. Cooking in the classroom. I had a full kitchen in my classroom, which it was a portable building. And a lot of teachers didn't necessarily want to go in the portable building it was, you know, I was a first year teacher and we got to go and into this building when it was finished. It might have been my second year or halfway through my first year. But anyway, it had a full kitchen. So in the kitchen, I had a word wall with all kinds of cooking vocabulary. And we cooked every week in there, whether it was cooking or mixing or baking or something. But so much fun to pull the kids in there in groups and mix and uh, so much fun. All right. Let's see. Rebecca's. Said, I did a lot of music in my classroom and directed the K1 music program in December and May. Whew, that's a lot of work. <laughs> awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming. I want to know what your favorite class is, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.